Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I'm going to show you how to stream your Premiere Pro timeline anywhere in the world. Okay, you might notice uh, I have a second laptop connected here, and that's to show you the output that I've got from this laptop in front of me. What I'm using is a free tool called NDI Tools. You can go download this for Mac and Windows and uh, write off the, the rest of your afternoon because you're gonna have way too much fun. NDI Tools is an internet protocol, IP-based video playback system and much, much, much more. I mean, this is a high-end professional system, but you can run it for YouTube or a Zoom meeting. And that's where I really got alerted to this. My daughter, Simone Smith, is an award-winning feature film and television editor. And many times, especially now during the pandemic, she has to play back the timeline edit all the time. Instead of making a movie, you play the timeline back, and that way you can actually edit the timeline and they see it. So she said she uses NDI tools, and I said, huh, what's that? So she uses Zoom meetings, and she'll play back her timeline. And I'll show you how we set that up. And that's only one tiny part of NDI tools. There's so many different parts. Have a look at this, this one diagram here. I think this will, will show it. Basically, any place that you've got a playback happening can be captured and recorded and, and used anywhere else in the world. And in lots of high-end professional systems, their network is not just in their building. It's connected to multiple buildings and locations, live streams, you name it. You can also use this for signage. That's another one of the uses where you can have a laptop playing to signs, but you can have overlays on different signs. Like in a hotel, one is in the lobby, one is in the uh, near the elevators, and one could have the weather, and one can have events for the day, all controlled through NDI tools. It's amazing. And there's even a, another tool, you have to buy this, but you can capture and put your um, iPhone in this stream of information too. It's incredible. So this document that I'm showing you here is actually installed when you install NDI tools. And it takes you through what it is, what each part does, uh, all the different capture, um, streaming, sending, over all that stuff. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm running the NDI test patterns. And down in the bottom here is this NDI logo, but if I jump up to the top and click here, I'm sending my test pattern. Now, why would you do that? Well, you wouldn't do that for a Zoom meeting, but you would definitely do that to calibrate the playback system of this device that would be going out to other devices because someone else on the network might be using that as a stream that they bring in and out of their, their either live broadcast or the recording because there's a record button down. Once I mouse over here, there's a little record button down in the bottom left uh, where you could record the stream. So test patterns are known values and on the receiving end, you could tweak that that uh, uh, input to uh, to be within the guidelines of broadcast. And this is all 10-bit, by the way. It's incredible. So the what I'm running over here is called the NDI Studio Monitor. And um, on the Mac, it's called NDI Video Monitor. And as soon as I load it up, it starts to playback whatever I'm sending from this network. So if anyone in my house connects to my network and runs a studio monitor, they can see live what I'm doing, including if I'm, I'll show you in a sec, when I'm on the timeline. So any of these that I'm playing back, uh, and, and these are different ways to calibrate test monitors. There's just a huge amount of these too. And you can even put your own logo on here if you wanted to, but that's what, the test patterns are. Now in this studio, I'm going to switch to Premiere Pro, Pro Playback. So now it's getting the signal out of my timeline. So I'm gonna close up this and jump into Premiere Pro and show you how we set this up. So I'm gonna scrub my timeline and you can see that that's scrubbing back there. 
You also see the VU meters jumping up on the side there. I'm sending out not only video, but also audio. And I'm not hearing audio on this system because I'm sending it out through um, uh, NDI tools. So how do you set that up? Well, you have to, of course, once you install your system, it installs a special plugin for Premiere Pro. In the edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, preferences, playback, and NDI tools, uses Mercury Transmit, and, and Transmit has been around for quite a while, and you can see it's turned on here. What Transmit does, before NDI tools, Transmit would send it out to a second monitor. So on my main station over there, I've got two 4K 27-inch monitors. The second monitor is just a playback of the timeline. So I don't have to do any extra cabling at all. I just literally turn it on, and I've got it on a shortcut key, Boom, 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 I set it up to F5, so whenever I want full screen playback, I have that. And here you can pick whatever you've got connected. So if you had two or three extra monitors, you can pick them, but I'm choosing NDI output here for the audio and NDI output here, and they're turned on. You can also uh, offset the audio if there's a stream difference. Sometimes audio and video, when you stream it, is, is offset a little bit and you could fix that right there. So once I turn that on, once Mercury Transmit is on, it's live. So if I was sending this to a Zoom meeting, you would see me scrubbing the timeline and changing it. And, and it's not like everybody wants to see scrubbing a timeline, but what if you wanted to see live edit updates, just like you go to an edit suite, if you sit in an editor's editing suite, you're not looking over their shoulder at their Premiere Pro timeline. You're sitting in a nice uh, cushy couch, somebody serving you lattes, and you're looking at a big screen TV. You're watching the final output. So you sit there and you watch the editor has Mercury Transmit going and they're sending that out. So when they ask a scene to be changed, it's like this Zoom meeting idea. I'm editing here in Premiere Pro and it's spitting out the timeline. And I know what your first question is, how different is this than just going full screen or picking the app? It's all about performance, baby, and performance and resources. If I switch in, a, in something like a Zoom meeting or Skype or Google Hangouts to a full screen of the interface of Premiere Pro, there's a huge amount of resources required to play that back. So now you're decompressing video, you're capturing the whole screen, and you're exporting that um, through the, the uh, capture technology of whatever the meeting is, and it just means everything is heavy and could be slower. When you're playing through Transmit, it's buttery smooth. I did a test recently through my Facebook uh, group where I sent this out and I, was, I just hit play and off it would go, go playing. So we need to, to run one other application here and I'll show you. Uh, so by the way, they're, they're, we're not even gonna get to all of these. Uh, there's virtual inputs, scan converter, the test patterns, the intro is part of this, so once you install it, you just you can go to the intro access manager. But I'm going to double click on the virtual input. On the Mac, it's an app, so it's installed. Uh, look for it in your dock. Launch that, and then the same controls are up in the virtual input menu. And down in here, the virtual input shows up, and you can even see this is how crazy this is. I'm running studio monitor over here that's playing back something, and the virtual input on this machine sees that because it's all NDI tools. So I could be sending out a virtual input of what's coming out of that machine to go to something else. And that's what makes this solution so different, is the fact that you can tag team on anything that's going on in the network and grab it and, and use it and record it Oh my God, it's incredible. But here we are using Premiere Pro. That's the one I'm going to choose. And I could pick any uh, audio settings in here and video settings, uh, 720p 30. I could go up to uh, 1080. It supports, um, it supports 1080p 60 and it supports 4K full frame. So, psh, damn, but I'm gonna leave it at uh, 720. Okay, so now I have a virtual input. So Mercury Transmit, is, is running out to the, the virtual input, which means 
The Premiere Pro timeline now behaves like any webcam. So let's go start a Zoom meeting and I'll pick instead of my camera, I'll pick Premiere Pro timeline. So I've already set this up down here and you'll see there's my integrated webcam and I just switched that to the NDI and here instead of that, I'll choose line new tech NDI audio. So once I hit play, so you can see it's playing through Zoom. This is what people would see in the Zoom meeting instead of me. And you notice it's also playing back there at the same time. See what I mean about performance? Premiere Pro timeline playing in real time, sending out to Zoom, playing over to here, and everything is working buttery smooth. You can't get that up by full screen output thing. I'm gonna leave that meeting. Now let's look at Skype. Still playing that in the background. So I set that to the same thing. Now, instead of my video, there's my Premiere Pro timeline playing back through Skype. Now, you remember, I'm also running Camtasia and capturing a full uh, 4K screen at the same time I'm doing all this. That's crazy. Okay, the last one let's look at is Facebook. All right, let's use Facebook now, and we've got to go to this slash live slash producer thing to get to to go live and use a camera. So you can see it's using that camera there. But in the setup, we want NDI. And also we want line NDI. So now that's going to be the live stream title, live, live test stream while I'm recording my show. And I, for some, okay, there we go. So that's showing up there. Now I'm going to push go live. and I'm streaming live. All right, so there it is streaming live, uh, again, from the Premiere Pro timeline. So like I said, I'm only showing you a tiny bit of what NDI Tools does. It's IP streaming, it's, uh, well, download it, have fun, start poking around and start. I, I actually tested this on about three or four systems in my studio. I had them all running studio monitor. I was playing my timeline and they were just like butter. It's an incredible tool. Thanks so much to Simone for alerting me onto this. And if you do a lot of sharing of your timeline through meetings and things like that, and you want to have the best, cleanest way possible to show your output well, NDI tools and transmit uh, Mercury Transmit through Premiere Pro is gonna work pretty good. I looked at their documentation. It didn't look like there's any other uh, application supported. Obviously, they'll do that in the future. But right now, uh, Creative Cloud, the Transmit applications, I didn't try this in After Effects, but it also has uh, Mercury Transmit um, and a couple of other, all the video applications have it. So there you go. Go have, a, a, have fun streaming your stuff anywhere in the world. And uh, you can do that all for free with NDI tools. I'll have a link in the description. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, 
take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on our website, videoreveal.com slash shop, where you can donate once or monthly, any amount. There's free stuff for you to grab there and some tickers to purchase and some split screens. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to listen to my daughter and uh, find out the cool stuff she's using as a uh, award-winning feature film and television editor and let us all know about that.